What is this update? Seriously, what is this free update? Jurassic World Evolution 2 has just posted its major update 2 for the game that comes alongside the Jurassic World Evolution 2 Camp Cretaceous DLC Animal Pack. Um, and we knew that there were a kind of, you know, a couple of really cool things coming, but I did not expect how insanely good these are. So let's jump in. Right, deep breath, or breath, they said. How damn right they were. So they came with so many changes that before we delve into them, I want to say Frontier seems to really take their latest updates seriously. Whether it's been on Planet Zoo, whether it's been on the first Jurassic World Evolution 2 update or this one, this is really a brilliant sign for the future. If they continue doing the free updates like that, I think from now on DLCs are fine, but hell, give me the free updates. Let's start uh, with things first off. So, we are going to have a huge amount of changes to the sandbox, but let me just get the, the major things straight for you. First of all, you don't need to unlock anything anymore. You can just jump into the game, open the sandbox and play the way you want. You can do whatever you want, you can build with all dinosaurs and all skins except uh, the uh, little things from the challenge modes, but everything else is unlocked. Now you can just jump in and have fun. You can have several settings now, you can change whether you want to play sandbox now with um, you know the option have explorations and uh, research on or off because you can if you want to play with all buildings and no restrictions that's fine but you still want to go and research for fossils and stuff you can do so. Um, you are also getting a whole bunch of new controls over the contracts and everything like that how long the contracts and tasks should be you can see that can be from 10 to 100 so if you want to play quicker you can totally do so and all the old things are in as well and one last major thing is you can turn off scientists and I, you know, I, th I think this is going to be like a default setting for me that means you can do every task that you would initially need scientists for well you don't need them anymore it's as if you have assigned them with the highest level possible and that is great. As much as I like them for the campaign mode, they just annoy the heck out of me in Sandbox. Like, why would you need to have them? Just give me the dinosaurs and place them. Whatever. It's in. It's cool. It's great. Checkmark. Brilliant stuff. Let alone this would have been a reason to me to recommend uh, getting back into the game for everyone. But now it's getting better. Let's start off with more decorations. Good news, park managers. We're adding over 40 new placeables for your park. I'm not even sure, but I'm quite certain we have less than 20 in the game as of now. So that means they're not even going to double the amount. They are double the amount from the original available ones. That is insane. So 40 new placeables, they are divided into two things. Um, one is facility and the other thing is decoration pieces. Um, facility pieces are made mainly to work with the DFW uh, building sets, but also perfect Jurassic World and Jurassic Park era. Decoration pieces will be new pop uh, with some signs, planters and foundations. Uh, fountains, foundations would be great, but it's fountains. You'll also be able to add the Velociraptor paddock and uh, Spinosaurus skeletons to your park. How amazing is that? And I think I'm also spotting some new signs here in the background already. I'm not sure if this is a sign that you can even drag up and down. That would be too much to ask, I guess, but who knows. Um, you can see another fountain over here. You can see some really cool new signs and um, they seem to be really a lot more inspired by the really Jurassic World Evolution styled ones, but the fountain here looks really dang cool with like the amber in there and stuff. Really dang good. And uh, we are moving forward. The next big thing is placeable trees. Honestly, I haven't really gotten the point what exactly they meant. I'm just going to read out this uh, part over here and then we can make up our minds on our own here. But um, the thing is, they say, speaking of placeables, you will soon be able to place individual trees in your parks and facilities. 
These will not only look great in both your park and enclosures, they will also add to your dinosaur's forest comfort needs when used inside an enclosure. The, tree, uh, the trees are unique to each environment and come in four different varieties, large, medium, small and bushy. Uh, you won't be able to mix trees from different environments <laughs> yet, uh, but you can mix and match the different sizes as you see fit. Um, with these individual placeable trees and the new decorative placeables, you'll have more control over how your park and enclosures look and feel, and we are looking forward to see how you use them in your parks. Oh my god, I am looking forward to. And also, it already looks like as if these um, these containers over here are placeables already. This seems to be one open and one not, and then we've got another crate over here. We've got these little trees, and don't get me hyped, but this almost looks like there is barely a hitbox anymore between those two. And they are very close over here as well. I'm Okay, so I'm 100% certain that there is still is a hitbox. But it looks pretty small to me, which is really great. Because that's what people would love to see. Especially on consoles where you can't use mods and stuff. Um, so that is a, a very welcome addition to, to the game. And uh, just look at look at this over here. That, that is potentially the small one this is the bushy one um this might be the medium size and this is the large size one i guess this is how it works and then you have different variants of that fitting to the biome you are in but you know i think it's not only four i think four is the number of different sizes and within each group of size you have different types of trees as at least that's what i'm assuming then we have yet another change and that is the first person view which is pretty cool because it's not only like a first person view as it is the cheat in planet zoo it actually lets you interact with certain things from the first person view which is kind of cool you can just jump into the park tour right as you stand over here and you're going to go exactly into this ride um but you can also go and um and change a couple of things over here. What's also pretty cool is select it, then choose the starting position in your park, and then you'll instantly go ground level. You can move around any open areas of your park, change your movement speed, and alternate your viewing height, which is kind of cool to be honest. This is really some good stuff here, really, really good stuff. And uh, yeah, there's even one more thing, one one bigger thing before we go into some smaller things. Um, you're going to get a pretty brand new species viewer in which you can see and uh, view all your unlocked uh, species yet. And then you can cycle through the different things and stuff. Um, and this is kind of cool, you know. Um, this will be added as a new option in the main menu, allowing you to look at the first blah, blah, blah. It would be really cool to have that in the game right where you... Um, make the dinosaurs that would be really good to have it already in that um, process you know of uh, um of the dinosaur creation because then you can see which pattern you're using but whatever um you know, we also have a lot of quality of life uh, improvements and that is pretty good ranger post gets some updates certain buildings would have several updates you can actually read through everything in detail it's nothing like major crazy in here um which is kind of cool because you can also get um, some upgrades to unlimited fuel and so on. Uh, really good detail changes, especially for people who haven't played the campaign or challenge modes yet. Um, and there's also a couple of things they're adding, like you can have now a world gate that you can use for your Jurassic Tour and Gyrosphere. It's pretty similar to the Jurassic Park gate, acting as uh, an imposing and impressive doorway onto your park uh, in your park view tours. Really cool stuff. Um, there's a lot of contracts being rolled out, so we have a bit, bit more variation in in this um, which is kind of cool and finally certain dinosaurs behaviors are getting a small update specifically related to group attacks and hunts i think this is very welcome as well um, prey dinosaurs now have the potential to flee when a group attacks which is also good because that makes things a bit more well varying right <laughs> um so that's kind of cool and we get the nvidia dlaa support for those of you who don't know that's um that's an anti-aliasing um kind of mode in the newer graphics card as they state you need the rtx 20 series or 30 series for it and then the anti-aliasing looks actually quite a bit better for all these games that have it um it, it it basically looks better and saves performance which is great on both sides so yeah this is all crazy and is coming on the 8th of march and this is going to be absolutely ridiculous um <laughs> i i have no words like let me scroll up a little to whatever the fountain for example over here you know that i played quite a lot with mods recently so many of those things obviously are not really that big of a game changer for me but i always keep my site a little bit more 
um, I, at least I try to be a bit more objective. Um, and I get so many comments of you guys that you say, well, you got, you know, uh, we are playing on console and we, we love to do the same thing that you do. Like it's looking great, but we can't. And I feel yeah. And um, I think these changes actually close the gap uh, dramatically and specifically the new decoration items and stuff is something that even modding could, couldn't do and these will add so much more life to the game. 40 new pieces is really, really damn good when it comes to variation. 40 pieces multiplied by the, you know, creativity that you guys have um, will make up for something really, really damn good. I can't wait to see what you can do with all these pieces, how they look, how they feel in the game that's going to be really cool and the frontier keeps that pace in the free updates uh, the game has potential to really become what it should have been from the beginning and uh, this is actually by by any means um, something negative related towards frontier more and more i get the feeling that we are on a very decisive road to the maybe bigger dlc that comes with the movie uh, jurassic world dominion in summer um, many people have assumed that there is a lot going on that should have been in the base game and uh, potentially we are seeing uh, Frontier paving the, the path, the way, so to say, um, towards what we are, you know, uh, getting there and I'm super excited. This update for me personally is unexpected, a very welcome unexpected surprise and I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Sorry for being a little bit late. The, the little baby didn't want to go to bed today. Like legit. She she <laughs> she stayed away awake for like three hours longer than usual. And I just couldn't get her back into bed. And then maybe I got a bit nervous when I saw the update popping. And I was like, maybe not the most quiet person in the world. Um, but now she's sleeping. I'm just looking to the screen. She's lying there uh, on the right hand side here um, on the screen so I can see her. She's she's sleeping now. So hopefully that stays this way. I hope you guys have a good time. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you like the content want to see more of Jurassic World Evolution 2 and other creative games, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Helps me out, helps you out. Have a good time. Stay safe, everyone, and goodbye.